Hello! In this video, we will see how we can create a simple breakout game in Godot. First, let's create a wall scene. For that, we will use a static body 2D, a sprite and a collision shape. Now we save our scene. And going back to our main scene, we can now set the walls. Let's create a roof for our game. In this example, we can create it directly at the main scene, because we just need it once. We create it like we did with the wall. Now we can create our player. To make our player, we will use a kinematic body 2D, a sprite and a collision shape. And now we create a script to control our player. The script to move our player is really simple. We just need a function to set the position of the click or touch and a second function to set the drag position. And now let's add the player to the main scene. Our next step is to create the ball. For the ball we will use a kinematic body 2D, a sprite and a collision shape. And now we can create a script to control the ball. First, we create a variable 
to hold the direction of the ball movement. This direction is a vector 2D. Next, we are setting this direction to 500, 500. So, when the ball is created, it will move to the right and to the bottom. But the movement needs to be updated frame by frame. And for that, we will use the physics process function. And here we have the function that manages the movement and returns if a collision occurs. And then we test if there is a collision. And if so, we need to get point of collision, date the collision direction, and make the ball reflect to the other side. Let's just rename the kinematic body 2D to ball because we use this name at the script. And now we can try to run it to see the result. And we can see our ball bouncing, but it's not much to see now. And let's now make the gamer start when the ball leaves the screen. To do that, we just need to add a visibility notifier to our ball and make it restart the current scene when the ball is not visible anymore. And now we need to handle the input to move our player. I explained this script at the other video about dragging objects, so I will not explain it step by step here, but it's really simple and it's just to handle the input. This script complements the other script that's uh, on our player, and with these two scripts our player is able to move. And so now we can freely move the player and block the ball. Now we just need to create our bricks to finish our project. Our bricks will be composed by a static body, a sprite and a collision shape. Now that we have our brick scene, we need to load bricks to our main scene. And to do that, first we need to preload the brick scene. And now we can create a function to instantiate this brick multiple times and put them on the screen. First, I've created this variable to count the number of bricks created. This variable can be useful in other projects, but it will really not be used in this project. So you don't need to create it if you don't want. Then we create a for to set the bricks at 5 lines. And after that, another for to set the bricks in columns. Then we create another variable to hold the instance of our brick and after that we set its position on the screen and then we are increasing our useless brick counter variable and after that we are adding the new instance of our brick to the main scene and now we just need to call our function when the main scene is ready and there are our bricks on the screen but they are still unbreakable at the moment so we need to change that So you can create a script at the brick to manage the hits. In this example, it will just destroy the brick, but you could use it to add points or change the color or make what you want.
And now we need to make our ball call this function when a collision with the break occurs. And that's it for this video guys. I left at the description a link to an improved version of this game and I published it at Play Store. I'm using Admob at it to test it because I want to make a video in the future about it. There's a link to the version of this video at GitHub too. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please consider subscribe, leave comments, give thumbs up, share and thanks for watching. Bye!